A hostage situation in North Texas is over after more than 10 hours. Officials say 44-year-old Malik Faisal Akram entered a synagogue on Saturday around 11 a.m., taking captive four people at the congregation Beth Israel. Christy Sloan shares the latest, and it's our top story at 5.30. A dramatic scene now over in North Texas. A hostage situation at the congregation Beth Israel Synagogue in a suburb outside of Fort Worth coming to an end late Saturday. Sometime around 9 p.m. today, uh, this evening, the HRT, the hostage rescue team, breached the synagogue. Uh, they rescued the three hostages, and uh, the, the subject is deceased. After 10 hours, a massive response from the FBI, SWAT teams, and several local police departments. So today's, uh, today's result, which was four safe hostages and the situation resolved, was really, uh, was really a result of, of a, a long, long day of hard work by nearly 200 law enforcement officers from across this region, uh, the FBI, ATF, HSI, and Texas DPS. Sources familiar with the investigation tell ABC News an armed man took four people hostage, including a rabbi. The rabbi is a personal friend of mine. Um, we, we, he's, a, he's a close uh, friend of mine, and, uh, and so obviously it's very personal. Um, as he was, uh, it's been put out uh, on, on the, in the media that he was one of the uh, hostages. Sources also tell ABC News the suspect demanded the release of a known Pakistani terrorist, Afia Siddiqui, who was serving 86 years at Carswell Air Force Base near Fort Worth. She had alleged ties to Al Qaeda and was convicted in 2010 of attempted murder of U.S. soldiers and FBI agents in Afghanistan. The White House and Department of Homeland Security were briefed on the situation through Throughout the day. The FBI says the investigation is ongoing. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.